Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Diana, AKA Bookish Die, and uh, I want to talk uh, today about what I'm doing for uh, the Borrowathon. So, the Borrowathon is a week long reading challenge uh, where uh, you focus on books that you've borrowed, either from a friend, library, and um, I actually had no idea this existed until. I saw uh, Rhea, um, the book Finch's video about her TBR, and I decided, well, since I have <laughs> a consistent problem of checking out way too many library books at once, um, and then being plagued by indecision about uh, what I want to read, um, I figured this is a good time to try and uh, plan out my TBR for the week uh, and try and make a dent in uh, the books that I have checked out. So I'm going to try and read six books this week. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll up it to seven. Anything's possible. So first book is A Memory Called Empire by Arcady Martin. Uh, it is a science fiction novel about an ambassador who uh, ends up having to investigate the death of her predecessor. So uh, I had uh, have a couple of friends who've read this book and they've had nothing but really good things to say about it. And I've been in the mood for something uh, new science fiction wise, um, aside from like Star Wars and the Rakozigan saga, which is like my current, uh, well, my current ongoing sci-fi projects. Um, so yeah, I figure try and get this done this week. Um, it's fairly long, but I'm hoping I can dedicate some time in the evenings for it. Next up is The Refrigerator Mon uh, Monologues by Catherine M. Valenti, illustrated by Annie Wu. Um, I'm a big comic book fan, and one of the consistent problems with comics, however, is that uh, women will get fridged, aka they will die, or they'll die for the development of men, um, be it their partner, their son, uh, their sibling, um, their parent. And this is a book that uh, focuses on uh, six women who are in the afterlife and they're telling their stories. And I have been wanting to read it for a while and my library had a copy, so I figured why not? Um, and this one is, this novella is being turned into a TV series at, I wanna say Amazon, not, I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive it's Amazon. Um, Changing things up a little bit, uh, the next book is Pandemic 1918 uh, by Catherine Arnold. It is a nonfiction book about uh, the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. Um, I really like reading, I'm very, I really like reading about epidemiology and the history of diseases and the, um, the 1918 uh, flu pandemic uh, was just such a massive public health crisis and I haven't read a whole lot about it and uh, this is a holdover from when I was kind of going back through an epidemiology phase at the beginning of the year. Going back to comic books, uh, next up is Wonder Woman the Hecatea by Greg Rucka, illustrated by J.G. Jones. Um, it is a, a one-shot uh, graphic novel uh, focusing on Wonder Woman having to protect a young woman um, from Batman. Um, it has the iconic panel of Wonder Woman standing on Batman and saying, don't get up. It's been uh, kind of my white whale comic for a while. I haven't actually ha been able to find it either to buy uh, without shelling out a lot of money because it is out of print, unfortunately, um, or none of my libraries had it, which was annoying. Anyway, I'm going to try and finally read it. Really excited. Um, and then the other two books I have are ebooks. So the first one is A Conspiracy of Whispers by Ada Harper. It is a science fiction romance. It uh, appears to be a take on uh, the Alpha Beta Omega um, fanfic trope. And so it's not my normal cup of tea in terms of romance, but I've heard good things about it. Um, the second book in the series, uh, involves a spy and an empress, and I do want to read that one as well, but I only have a Conspiracy of Whispers checked out right now. Um, so that one I might, I might start reading and just seeing if, seeing how I feel about it, because like I said, that's not kind of my normal cup of tea romance-wise. 
And then the final book on my TPR um, is Thick as Thieves uh, by Megan Wh well, by Megan Whalen Turner. Um, so this is the latest book in her thie her Queen's Thieves series. Um, it is about a young man who is a slave in the Meat Empire and uh, him getting kidnapped and everything in his life kind of being uh, thrown into chaos. And I really, really love the Queen's Thieves series. I find uh, Megan Whalen Turner's writing to be really good. I love the world building in the series. And I'm really sad I have to wait till next year uh, for Return of the Thief, although I am sad that is the final book in the series. Um, so I I'm, I'm, I want to go back uh, and reread them at some point. So so that is my uh, D TBR for the Borrowathon. Uh, if folks are participating, are there any uh, books that you have checked out or borrowed uh, that you're looking forward to? Um, is there anything on my TBR that sounds particularly interesting? Please let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, this is going to be my last uh, kind of TBR type video uh, for the near future. I, I'm currently working on uh, something gonna, that I'm going to be dropping in the next few weeks um, that I'm pretty excited about. Um, and I can't wait to show you uh, once it's ready to be put out in the world. So again, thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye!